Greetings, everybody. Uh, today is November 7th of um, 2019. It's a Thursday, and I don't know what time it is. Let me have to swipe this. Ah, oh, it's 10.35 in the morning. And so yesterday, I replaced the oil pan on my transmission. And, um, well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so... For starters, the plywood underneath the truck is dry. Um, so I, the method I used was I put the pan on yesterday. I did glue the, the gasket, the new gasket, to the new pan. Um, just like I did the old pan in the, old, in the last episode. Uh, but since that didn't solve the leak, I, I went ahead and got a new pan and I put the new gasket on and I did glue it down. Um, the difference was I, I was able to glue it and put it up immediately, and I tightened it down immediately, um, as tight as I dared to go. That was yesterday afternoon, and then I just didn't even drive. I just sat there, and today I got up and filled it up with oil, and <clears throat> so it sat all night without any oil in it, and, and I think that's pretty much the method you're supposed to use, so that's what I did, and um, today I, I let it sit for a lot of a while, enough that the heater is really nice and hot, to, um, to warm up the truck, and once I got it warmed up, I drove up the mountain a little ways, uh, a couple times, and then I came back and I just parked it right here just to see what we got, and... I do notice we do have a leak. So, just as I'm sitting here, this leak has manifested itself. I can't tell because of the lighting. Let me get up there a little bit with my finger. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Um. Man, that doesn't. I don't even know if that's uh, transmission fluid. That, that doesn't even look like transmission fluid. It might be. I mean, right up here by the. Oh, where is it? There's one little drip right here, and I don't know where it's at coming from. So I'll have to go get me a uh, a towel here and see if I can figure out where that's coming from. It's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. So that's good. Alright, so now I uh, noticed something else while I'm sitting here. I might have to turn the the torch on. <laughs> I don't know why we got to call it a torch, but I don't, I don't know. I can't get up there. The muffler's there. The tailpipe here is a little. It looks like there is some oil building up on the top of the gasket. Can you see that? So this is the trouble spot. This is where it always seems to look like it's leaking from. This one side, right here. And and I can tell it's going to leak again. Uh, oops, I'm not holding the camera right. And look at that. It's going to start leaking again, I can tell. So, okay, I'm going to go get a towel. I'm going to wipe this down and then, uh, and then watch it for a little while off camera. Wow, that was sudden. <clears throat> So I wiped, I wiped that edge off and sat here for several minutes and nothing happened. But you can tell it's not the pan. It's not the gasket. Look at where it's coming from. It's coming from on top. So... Where do I put my, where did I put that paper towel? Okay, so it's coming from on top. Unfortunately, this is a really, uh, a really tight space. I'm not jacked up or anything. There, there, did you see that? That's the leak. All right, I'm gonna wipe it off again. I'm gonna try to film this better to see if I can figure out where it's at coming from. Where am I? Where's the camera? 
I couldn't get up there fast enough, so I don't know if I can if I'm gonna see anything or not. Where did I wipe? Ah, oh, look at that. It's coming from clear up there. I just can't get up in there and see. Or where it's coming from, but it's coming up on the top. I need I need to be able to look down and I got all this stuff in my way. Okay, I'm gonna have to move the truck is what I'm gonna have to do so I can get more Alright. Alright, so This is where the leak's coming from. I was up here last time filming just like this. Only I had the truck sitting different so I can really see the leak. It's stopped now because the truck, uh, this is the high side of the truck now because I've moved the truck. And <clears throat> it's leaking out of this throttle connector. And you can see why right there, can't you? Every, every little thing. I want to try to put my hand one direction and they're just, I just can't do it. All right. So right there, it looks like there's a gasket that's kind of awry. This is pretty interesting considering, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm now dehydrated because now I've eaten and I didn't drink enough water. But, uh, this is the one thing I didn't disconnect when I, when I dropped the uh, transmission. That day, I, that time I was changing the uh, torque converter. Uh, but... <laughs> it looks like this gasket has been seated wrong and this is the source of my problems for the past seven years seven years I've been trying to get people to fix this leak and not and none of us has seen it until now I got all sorts of a mess up in there don't I I can do some kind of ring over on that side. I can't. <laughs> I just can't see. I'll have to check the video. Okay, so what I got here is uh, I took the cable off. So this rubber gasket or uh, washer was it was still attached to the cable section, and I peeled it off. And this thing was just kind of sitting in there loose. You saw that in that last shot; it was just kind of in there. Uh, I have no idea where it goes. I'm not going to put it back in because I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of loose. It's just kind of hanging out there loose. And I don't think I want something loose inside the transmission. See, it fits inside this. See, the video was showing it on top. And, uh, but when I got in and I, and I pulled this out, I found out it was inside. So... It was all the way down in there, and it's not tight. It's it's loose. It just falls in and out, you know. Uh, so I'll put this one back in. I'll take that metal part, throw it away, and uh, and see if I could get that everything flush down there, so there's nothing sticking out, and um, hopefully that solves my problems. Okay, so there's the uh, throttle cable coming down. Um, you know, there's really no close-up shots of this kind of stuff online on YouTube, so uh, maybe this will be the very first. Anyway, so this one, I had to disconnect it up at the engine. I had to loosen it just so I can pull this all off, but I'm going to go back up in there and, and take another look at that hole. 
I have to do it with the camera in this weird position because I just can't get up in there. And once again, I gotta turn the light on, which for some idiotic reason is called a torch. Okay, so what was happening is it was just coming out of there, so uh, I guess somehow I gotta. Yeah, I don't know. If I can get. Okay, that's a ridge. Oh, that's a ridge. Okay, I see there's something in the back there. Maybe I can stick my finger in there and clear that out before I do anything. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything else. Just that gunk right back there. That's where it was leaking. Out, out the. Well, for from this video, it's kind of the top right corner, but uh, you know the back there, which is actually the front of the transmission. So. Uh, yeah, all right. I was puddling up back where you see all that gunk, and coming down where the bolt is, and passing right in between the the bolt there and that bolt there, and it was leaking down, filling up the ridge of the gasket, which made everybody think that it was coming from the gasket. So eight gaskets later, and one new pan later, <laughs> I have the problem solved. All right. So here's the problem. This is obviously correct. This rubber gasket is correct for the transmission. So I believe it must have come with the transmission. The throttle cable, I don't remember. This is a throttle valve cable, or TV is what they call it. It's T is in throttle and V is in valve. Um, when I slide it up, when I slide it up on there, it does not fit up inside. Oh, that glare is so bad. I, I really cannot see what I'm filming. Okay, um, it doesn't fit up in there. And I don't know if you can tell. Oh, come on. It's got to be there. Okay, so if I let this drop, you can see there is a gap up in there. So this doesn't fit up in there. And the source of information that I'm seeing online says that this whole assembly is supposed to sit flush. So this thing here is supposed to sit flush with the transmission. So I think this throttle valve cable is incorrect. Um, this must be off of the, the 350 that I took off of here. And I must have just tried to use the same one and, and didn't realize that it was wrong. And that's what caused my... Uh, i got to put my foot up here because I'm blocking the sun because it's affecting the, uh, the exposure on the camera, uh, which is affecting the uh, uh, focus. So anyway, um, I'm going to throw some gasket maker up in there, and then I'll research another throttle cable. But for today, I'm going to throw some gasket maker up in there, put the seals back together, and live with it. I was worried that I was going to have a little too much uh, distortion because I don't have a gasket that goes all the way across to where the screw is. So I threw in that, this is a uh, um, Q-tip there, got a Q-tip and I stuck that in there. It's a paper, you know, it's paper so it'll squish down real good. And uh, I just tightened it a little bit. And I'll let it sit for an hour and then I'll come back and uh, really, you know, torque it down to see what happens. Looks like I just need a lot more space over the screw to get that tightened down. But... Okay, well, I'll let it sit for. For a little while, I got stuff to do. I gotta load the motorcycle up and and do some other stuff. So while that's sitting there curing, uh, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll come down and take that spacer away and tighten her all the way down and see if that helps.